Hey, it's Jeremy from Retro Shop here. Just wanted to show off a set of projectors that we did and just kind of give it a basic idea of how the HIDs inside of a projector will function. So what we're looking at here is a Morimoto Mini D2S. It's a three inch round version of the projector. And we've got it set into an 02 to 05 RAM light. But it really doesn't matter what type of light it goes in, the output will still be the same on these. So what we're looking at right now is the low beam operation. And you'll see on the left hand side, on the driver's side, you'll have a lower um, cutoff there than the right hand side. And you'll see the step right in the middle. And what, what the reason for that is, is because you want to have a lower side on the drivers so that you're not going to be blinding people coming at you. But on the right hand side, you can still see, you know, road signs and whatnot. So, in this projector as well, we do have a high beam function, and when we hit the high beams, this is what that'll look like. So the cutoff inside the high beam will drop, and you'll get you know the full output from the projector. And obviously here in you know the the shop, we're about 20 feet away from the wall, and you know output here looks a little bit different, you know, kind of a triangle there and the hot spot is more towards the top, which you'll see, you know, going down the road that's going to give you that, that distance for the high beam that you're looking for. So we'll go ahead and go back to low beam here. And again, you'll have a very sharp cutoff going across the, uh, the, the line here in the horizontal plane. And, you know, you'll have a secondary projector on the right hand side, you know, for your other one. This is just the single projector we're looking at here. Um, so that should pretty well cover, you know, how the projectors function, what you'll see when you get a set of projectors from us, how they would line up. Uh, a lot of people have questions on, you know, what's this cutoff? What's this Z in the middle here? So hopefully that clears that up for everybody. And if you have any questions, let me know. Email is jeremy at retroshop.us. Thank you very much.